hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm jasmine lee and today i'm going to be showing you how i get a very quick and easy faux freckle look this is really inspired by salem mitchell so unlike most people who put the freckles like right here i'm gonna go crazy all over my face this is only gonna be my second time doing this so it's still not perfected but i just thought it would be cool to come on camera and do it for you guys and hopefully it comes out nice so if you're into that go ahead and stay tuned don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you catch the vibe thank you guys as always for watching and i hope you enjoy the video first i'll be taking my gotta be glued styling gel and my style factor edge control and applying this to my eyebrows i just started doing this i've been practicing blocking my brows and lately nothing gets my brows as flat or as straight as this edge control so this is what i'm going with i know it's really weird but just stay with me i promise i got you i'm gonna apply this to both brows i basically put the edge control on first and then i go in with the gotta be glued I'm overlaying it just to make sure they don't move the gotta be glue part of this hack was actually stolen from a friend at two bomb beauty make sure you guys check her out um she hasn't uploaded in a while but she will be back very soon and i'm very excited for that I'm using a baby hair brush because the spoolie was not doing the job at like really combing through that product and making sure they lay flat so just in case you're wondering that is a baby hair brush and I'm also going to be going over well around the area of my eyebrows with a wipe just to clean up any excess gel residue Now that that's done, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and I am going to conceal around my eyebrows. taking my Pat McGrath Labs Sublime Perfection Primer and I'm putting that all over my face. This primer is really lightly scented. It smells really good though and it's just very lightweight. Now I'm taking my Pat McGrath Labs Sublime Perfection Foundation in the shade Medium Deep 26 and blending that out all over my face. The reason I use this foundation is because it's very sheer and lightweight and given the type of look we're doing today, that's the type of look I wanted. So if you have any sheer foundation, go ahead and try that. Now it's freckle time. So I'm using the new ColourPop freckle pins. I've never ever used a freckle product before. I know you can use like eyeliner and things. I just thought it would be fun to try this out. So um, what I got was the dark brown and the light brown. So that's the two colors they offer. I got both. And right now I'm just dotting all over my face. Kind of random. Um, I am paying attention to placement at first. But as this time lapse goes on, you're going to kind of see how I just start to just go crazy and not care about the size, the shape, the placement. Some of them overlap each other. And that's really like when you study someone's freckles, they're not all spaced out in their own area. Sometimes they do overlap where you have, you know, kind of unusual looking spots on your face. Um, some are darker, some are lighter. So I really took my time to study this um, and how realistic freckles would look in order to better do mine. So towards the end of this time lapse, you'll see more close up of just the shape, the placement and all of that. Um, Hopefully that helps. I didn't want to speed this up too much because again, this is the focal point of the video. So I wanted you guys to be able to follow along or at least see a lot more of what I'm doing, which you can't if I sped it up too much. So I hope you enjoy. If you're not a fan of this, go ahead and leave me a comment below and I'll make sure to just leave it speedy next time. Okay, bye. <laughs>
today I used two different mascaras first the KKW Beauty one which I'm putting on right now this adds such a nice volume and definition um, it doesn't clump although it does flake so if you're concerned about that just know that it does happen and so I really really like this mascara I'm a huge fan from like day one and then um, the other mascara I used is the Pat McGrath Labs one and that one adds a nice spidery look um, the wand does a really nice job of separating your lashes so both were just used to give like maximum drama I noticed that they do that with Salem Mitchell's lashes a lot and here I just went back in with the freckle pen to touch stuff up add more detail where I felt like things were faded or not dark enough for me I love when the freckles are on people's lips that's so cute <laughs> Now I'm taking my Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette in the shade Lena and I'm going to put that on my cheeks over the freckles. This is key to making the freckles look natural. Again, this is all things that I noticed they do on Salem Mitchell a lot and it just helps give you that editorial cute fresh face look so that's really what I was going for and I'll be sure to insert pictures of what Salem Mitchell actually looks like just in case you guys don't know of her because I didn't actually introduce her at all sorry about that oh and I messed up I was really trying to keep my blush more sheer and I ended up being heavy-handed so I went back in with the brush and I felt like that was gonna do more damage so then I took a wet beauty blender um, more wet than damp because that'll pick up more product and I just started dabbing it out um, just to kind of sheer the blush out and that did help Now I'm taking the Sculpt shade from the True Complexion Contour Palette by Black Radiance Beauty and I'm using that as a very, very light handed contour. It's almost the same color as my skin so you guys may not be able to tell the difference on camera but it added a very light shadow. Now I'm taking my MAC and Tiana Taylor Collaboration Skin Finish in House of Petunia and highlighting my face in certain areas. I always do my cheekbone, brow bone, and cupid's bow no matter what. Now I'm taking my Pat McGrath Labs Perma Precision Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just making a very light cat eye, nothing too dramatic, it's very very wispy at the end. The key of this is just to make my lash line at the top look a little darker, a little more defined without adding too much drama to the look. My direction with this was more faux, fresh faced editorial so hopefully you get that vibe. Alright guys, so that's the finished look. Um, now I'm just putting on finishing touches, getting my edges together, putting on jewelry, and lip gloss. For my lip gloss, I'm using Pat McGrath's uh, Flesh Fantasy. And that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye guys. Corona!